Welcome back to our Sunday Night in America special, Education in America. Clemson University has managed to keep college affordable for its students, even as tuition goes higher and higher at many other schools. Not only that, but Clemson ranks among the best public universities in the country, and their sports teams aren't too bad either. At the helm is a man who valued education in his own life, ran a major university in West Virginia, and now runs one of the most highly regarded public institutions in America, Clemson University. Joining us now is President Jim Clements. Mr. President, thank you for joining us. I want to start by asking you about your own educational journey. I think you went from being a first-generation college graduate to a PhD. That's pretty remarkable. Thank you, sir. And Trey, thank you for the opportunity to be with you, and thank you for your service to our state and to the nation. And thank you for acknowledging, yes, I'm a, I'm a first-generation college graduate. Trey, my uh, grandparents didn't graduate from high school, and my parents didn't have an opportunity to go to college. Um, they had the brain power, but they didn't have the financial resources to do so. But they instilled in me and my three older siblings the, the importance of the value of an education. So between me and my three older siblings, we actually got 11 college degrees, and it, ch it changed our lives. It put us on a different path. Um, so I got into higher education so I could give that same opportunity and hope to others. You know, not only do you have a PhD, Mr. President, I remember the time you sat down with Senator Tim Scott and I and tried to explain to us what your PhD was in. We couldn't even understand the subject matter, much less what it took to go get a PhD. So, uh, all right, let me ask you about Clemson. It, it has an outstanding academic reputation. It's excelled in every facet from sports to you name it. And yet tuition is very reasonable compared with other schools. So how have you been able to do that? Well, well, Trey, first, I'm honored to serve at Clemson. It is an unbelievable institution, great board of trustees, great and incredible faculty and staff, and an institution that has a mission of changing lives and making a difference. I appreciate, you know, the comments. Uh, we have excelled in athletics. We've excelled in academics. I think, Trey, we have a national championship attitude across the campus. Our faculty and staff have gone above and beyond. We focus on quality efficiency and relevance and we try hard to make sure we offer the highest quality education the best research possible while running an efficient institution so we actually run significantly cheaper and uh, more cost uh, efficient than our peers and that's something we're really proud of our goal is to make sure every single student that we bring to this great campus that they are retained from their freshman year to their sophomore year and that they graduate and go on and live a great happy healthy and successful life all right, speaking of that, there's something, I hope I have the title right, Emerging Scholars Program. It, it, it impacts our I-95 corridor, which um, is uh, an important part of our state, is a beautiful part of our state, but there are challenges there. Can you tell us about the Emerging Scholars Program in case somebody wants to replicate that? So Trey, the Emerging Scholars Program is one of my absolute favorite programs. We go into the areas that are most economically challenged in this state and we work with high school students. And the goal is to make sure that they graduate from high school and then go off to college or go off and get a great job or go into the military. And uh, to be honest, it doesn't matter what college they go to, we just want them to finish high school and continue to pursue great opportunities in life. Um, and we, we work with them, we, we expose them to lots of things, opportunities, connections, uh, faculty, staff, students. Uh, when I started at Clemson in 2013, we had six emerging scholars and they received about $500 a semester in financial support. This year we have 54 in our program and they get a full ride. Everything, all expenses paid. And that's really in thanks to our donors who have stepped up to help, to the state who has provided you know, amazing support for scholarships, and faculty and staff who care so deeply about our students. It is, Trey, a program that should be replicated at every university in this country. All right, Mr. President, student loans have been in the news a lot lately. I, I figure if you had wanted to go into politics, uh, you would have done that. Um, and you didn't, so I'm not gonna ask you about the politics of it, but, but there are schools where tuition is $60,000 a year, maybe even more than that. That's what they were when yeah. my kids were looking at, at schools. I mean, that's more than the average national income. So 
For those of us sitting at home, what drives the cost of tuition? You managed to keep it down, but there are some schools that are what, more than what people make in a year. What drives yeah. the cost of tuition? Yeah, you know what, Trey? I, I can't speak to the other schools. Um, I can only talk to Clemson and, and our affordability. And uh, we work really hard to make sure that we do keep that tuition down, that we are affordable, that we are accessible, that we provide the highest level of quality. So we focus on uh, making sure that we are um, lean, uh, that we use our resources the best we can, that we go to uh, industry and external partners for help and support. And it's, it's an all out team effort between the state, our board, our faculty, staff, our students. But the goal is to make sure that our students graduate with as little or no debt as possible. And Trey, half of our students graduate debt free, more than half. Well, Jim Clement, one of the nicest people you will ever meet in education or out, uh, and actually a PhD uh, that I enjoy talking to. Um, thank you for joining us. Hope you have a great Labor Day weekend. Thank you, Trey. Have a great day. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.